What is the biggest strength of the 2013 men's volleyball team? I know the strength of this team is their cohesion. This is a strong group uh, mentally and physically and a great mix of veterans, about you know, five seniors and a few other upperclassmen, and then a very gifted youth group of freshmen and a couple sophomores. So there's great cohesion, even though there's a bit of a gap in terms of years. Um, I think that cohesion comes with a vision that they have, a vision of that Coach Carson and myself have, have laid before them of where we want to go and how we're going to get there. And so the cohesion is there because they believe that we're going to get there. A vision of uh, a really, really good team that plays great volleyball. You talked about some of your returners, uh, mainly Taylor Hughes and Javier Caceres. They're coming off of uh, outstanding years last season. Mm -hmm. What do they need to do as leaders now and veterans on this team to uh, really help this team get to the next level? Well, you know, Taylor's uh, kind of suffered through a tough fall in terms of uh, injury to his elbow. So what we need and what we want Taylor to be able to do is physically play at a high level that we know he can play at. His leadership really comes from just playing the game at a high level. And, uh, you know, being he's very vocal and demonstrative as a player when he's playing the game, and that, that's really good for people to see. Javier is a bit more demonstrative with his voice and the way he moves on the floor. And his leadership also comes daily uh, throughout this fall and as we start the season right now in the winter in the weight room and being in contact with the other players, being a real good captain and, and getting the energy amongst the players at a very high level about being really good students, being really good citizens, and being really good volleyball players. So he has a, a, an energy that is uh, very infectious and he's sharing it with all of us right now. Your team opens up January 4th against George Mason. Uh, what can fans expect coming to the Spano Center this year in that opening game and throughout the season? Well, I don't know very little about George Mason, and being that it's the first match, neither team will have much to, to look at uh, before we see each other. But what we saw in the fall from our team is um, a much better serving team than we were last year. We have some guys that can bring it this year. Some of the younger guys are very good servers. Uh, once again, blocking, I think we put on uh, a few clinics this fall on how to block, and we're going to be a really good blocking team. Our offense, as we move and, and get gel guys closer together with Pat Tunnell returning and, and Adam Troy and uh, Taylor as hitters returning, you know, they've gotten a lot better with each other. Matt Houlihan coming on the floor, and so our offense is much better. Uh, and I, I, It's a fast offense compared to some. Uh, you know, we move the ball pretty quickly, but all that's really based on our passing. So, once again, that's anchored by Javier and, and the, the passing crew. You're going to see much better serving. You're going to continue to see great blocking. And my hope and desire is that we work really hard at becoming a much better offensive team. For the people that may not have seen the team play in the fall, can you uh, tell us about some of the newcomers that you have coming in? I could, but first I'm going to start with a few guys that are returning that really put up some really good numbers, so to speak. Adam Troy really looks good this, this fall and, and will in the spring. He had a bit of a surgery on a, in his shoulder in late last year. Came back. He's really hard working. He's the guy we have to almost hold back sometimes. He looked really strong both at outside and right side. Um, Pat Tunnell's super healthy right now. Looks great. You know, looks really good on the floor. As does Corey Leakey, who is our second setter right now. Uh, the biggest jump of any player on the team it has to be Tommy Carmody. Uh, Tommy Carmody in the middle came back, uh, I don't want to say a new man, but a changed man. That guy is a beast right now and in the fall put up some tremendous numbers as a blocker and is hitting the ball much better than he did last year. So he, a, a great movement forward by Tommy. Uh, a couple new players, Christian Franceschi, freshman outside hitter from Florida, spent a lot of time on the floor in the fall and really one of our best servers on the team, really quick whip, a quick whip of a wrist and is very difficult to block, so he's a very good offensive player. Um, other new players, Griffin Ender, back up to Javier, really good um, libero. We're really happy that he's with us this year. Another newcomer, Marty Ross, 6'9", uh, 6'8", six, six, middle, and who just has a great energy on the floor. It's, it's akin to Javier, um, big blocker and getting better every day. 
Uh, I know I'm missing somebody, but, uh, you know, everybody played in the fall. We have a few guys who are redshirting, so you won't get to see them this year. But everybody played uh, well in the fall and did had different roles and did a, an excellent job. Is there one overall goal or mission of this team this season? Well, we have our mission statement that we've continued to uh, to hone over the last couple of years, and uh, establishing ourselves as an elite volleyball team in the MPSF, which makes us an elite team in the country. Uh, and I think where we've moved well in that is is holding each other accountable, players to players, coaching staff to players, um, holding each other accountable uh, for the high standards that we've set in terms of performance and the performances in the classroom, it's as being citizens and it's on the court. So those are three pillars that that our mission statement stands on. Um, and we're really good at that and we're getting much better at that. And people coming in, the recruits, they know that that's what they're coming into. And so if they come, that's they want to be part of that. So that mission, and we're getting, we're getting there uh, closer and closer uh, what we want to be better is uh, in the actual playing of matches, playing the games, and, and putting people away. Really proud of the guys this fall. We, we get to a point at the end of the game, and it's close, 20s, 23s, and we were just consistent. We, were, we didn't drop. We actually excelled. And that's where we want to be uh, as we start the season this year. We want to, want to be in matches and sort of put it in overdrive a little bit, like, hey, you know what? We're not only going to be steady, but at times we're going to be able to pick it up. And uh, that's where this group has been going in all fall, and uh, I look to see that happening in the spring. So you lose two of your top three blockers from last year. Where are you going to make up that? Well, I, I think that the guys coming back, especially Christian Allen, who played, started most, you know, the last year and a half, is an excellent blocker. Very quick and uh, very coachable. Just sucks it up and, and keeps going hard every single play. He's really a good blocker, and I think that you know he may have been overshadowed by um, Sean last year, Sean Daly. But I think he's coming into his own, and you know he's fearless as a blocker. So I think he's going to pick it up. And then uh, you know Tommy and um, Marty are really good blockers, and they're really tall. So there's some things that we would put in Tommy last year that other guys just couldn't do just because of his height. So I think you know we may drop off a little bit in the blocking, but I think our technique is going to be very good. And I think that's actually going to help our back row defense. So we may tick down a little bit in the block, but I think we're going to uptick on the defensive side.